Good evening, everyone. Phil here. Welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Monday, the 7th of August, 2023. A day that, once again, things kind of got shifted around and changed about, even though I didn't intend it for it to be that way. Uh, that's just how life is sometimes, right? And uh, I'm happy the way things did turn out, but allow me to explain, because many of you who maybe didn't attend today's streams aren't aware that my schedule shifted around for essentially no really good reason. Uh, so let's talk. So first of all, today... We started off with a normal Level 1 podcast. Had a lot to talk about, including EVO, which ended last night. And we talked a little bit about the EVO results, some of the announcements that had happened to EVO, and stuff like that. And then there was a big update about the fact that my joystick was going to arrive, uh, you know, today. Um, and that I was going to be able to hopefully unbox it live and maybe play with it because tonight on the late stream I was doing the community night in Street Fighter 6 and if it showed up in time for that I'd be able to test it out for the first time against the viewers which would be awesome um, in addition we talked about all kinds of updates uh, me hooking up and testing my mini PC last night how I'd done this tech demo of the mini PC and how I'd really enjoyed how it had turned out uh, it looks like I can play games like Skyrim or Visage just at lower settings. Uh, I installed Chrono Trigger, and I was ready to go with that, and I was going to start that playthrough Tuesday night, and things like that. So we had a lot of interesting things to discuss on today's podcast. Uh, it went really well. But then all of a sudden, someone comes into my chat on the podcast and says, Phil, you probably don't know this. It was just posted by Capcom. They're doing maintenance tonight on Street Fighter VI. They didn't say anything ahead of time. They just decided they're doing it tonight. So they just posted it now less than eight hours from when they, they're doing it. And I'm like, what? Like, when they do maintenance, they typically will tell you at least a day ahead of time. So that way you can plan. As a streamer, that's frustrating. I, I had a schedule laid out. I wanted to do a fan night tonight where I play with my viewers. And then they just last minute decide to announce, oh, we're going down for maintenance. Now, <clears throat> was it emergency maintenance did they need to fix something that broke were they updating a critical game bug or flaw no do you want to know what capcom's doing they're loading in teenage mutant ninja turtles microtransaction content i wish i was joking so basically they have a team up with ninja turtles where you can now buy ninja turtles avatar outfits for your in-game avatar that you use in world tour mode or in the battle hub and you can now add emotes where they're eating pizza and saying kawabunga you know stuff that literally has nothing to do with the real game but they want to make microtransaction money so they literally are taking the game down tonight to add in needless microtransactions and again not that this is a horrible practice. They've got to make money. But tell people ahead of time, like a day before at least, not that you have to rush last minute to change your schedule around. So I was, I was left with a frustrating dilemma because today's streams were supposed to be Grand Theft Auto V as a daytime stream for the very first time, okay? And then the night stream was supposed to be Community Night in Street Fighter VI with me testing out my new joystick. Well, obviously I couldn't do Community Night in Street Fighter VI anymore. So I said to everyone, what would you prefer I do? Do we drop Grand Theft Auto V and do we play Street Fighter VI ranked matches right now? Then tonight we'll do the premiere of Chrono Trigger. And then tomorrow we do Grand Theft Auto V and we do the Community Night in Street Fighter VI. If I do it that way, we're splitting up Street Fighter so it's not an entire day of Street Fighter VI tomorrow. But that's probably going to upset the Grand Theft Auto people who really wanted Grand Theft Auto today. And, quite frankly, that may upset the Chrono Trigger viewers who were ready to watch it Tuesday night and now would be bumped to a different day. So, basically, I talked to my audience about it. They're like, nah, we really, really want GTA. So I said, all right, fair enough. We'll keep GTA. We'll do Chrono Trigger tonight on the late stream. And then tomorrow will be all Street Fighter VI. And there's nothing I can do about it. I apologize to those who didn't watch Street Fighter VI all day long on Tuesday. I wasn't planning on doing that either. Uh, it's just how the cards have landed. Uh, thanks to Capcom doing this last minute thing and not warning everyone. So it is what it is. Um, good news is today we played GTA 5, had a grand old time. Uh, the good thing about GTA 5 is when you hit this middle portion that we're very much in right now. I want to say we're around 15 hours into the game and the game's around 30 to 40 hours long. Um, you now have all the characters on the fly can be switched between. They all have their own plots going on, but also they intersect for various crossover missions as well. It's fun because you could be doing delivery missions with Trevor. You could be doing the photography missions for Franklin. You could be running into weirdo strangers and freaks in the middle of the city with Michael. And then all of a sudden there's a, a mission where they all intersect and have to do stuff together. It's really cool in that way. 
And I had a great time. Again, the graphics are continuing to be amazing in this game. I really like how this game work, lurks on Xbox Series X. And, uh, you know, overall, I will say this. I was pleased because people showed up and supported the stream. It was my concern that listening to people saying, hey, change this from a night stream to a day stream, that it wouldn't get viewership and it wouldn't get support. No, it did good. So zero, you know, zero problems there. Thank you all so very much. I really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, just thanks in general. I really, really was happy with the way that that went. Uh, then by the end of the stream, guess what got delivered? My new joystick, the Obsidian 2. I think it's called like the Kanba... Is it the G7 or Q7 Obsidian 2? Uh, it just says Kanba Obsidian 2 arcade joystick, actually. Oh, model Q7. So it's the Kanba Q7 Obsidian 2. Uh, got delivered during the stream. So after I finished with GTA 5, I did a bonus video where I did a live unboxing of this joystick, okay? And if you want to see that and see what it looked like when I unboxed it and I showed off the features, check that out. It's live on the channel right now. And I'll be using this joystick for the first time tomorrow for Street Fighter 6 all day long. By the way, it's the heaviest joystick I've ever had. It's really interesting. It's a different kind of stick from the ones that I'm used to using. So I'm curious to see how it'll turn out tomorrow when I use it for the first time. So anyway, that was the first stream. Then on the late stream, it was the first time I was going to now play Chrono Trigger on my new mini PC. But disaster struck. I come in here, and I turn it on, and it goes black screen on me. And I'm like, what the... So yesterday, this didn't have an issue. Today, I turn it on. It's a black screen. There's nothing here. What's going on? So I start hitting the buttons. You know, it, it had booted up. I did log into Windows 11, and then it was black screen. So I'm like, what do I do? So I control all deleted. All of a sudden, it's giving me text on the screen as if... It was giving me options to open things like Task Manager and stuff, but there was nothing on the screen but text. I'm like, so I clicked, I told it to restart, and after a restart, it worked. I have no clue what the hell that was. I hope that's not a sign of things to come. It's kind of funny. It's like, okay, it's time to use the mini PC for a stream for the first time, and it's not working right at first. I'm like, oh, God. So, not good. So, tonight, we started with Chrono Trigger. I used this controller. Now plugged into USB-C, I'm not going to be using a wireless battery anymore. I'm just going to use this cord on everything for the console, for the mini PC. It just makes sense. Why use a battery when you don't need it? So plugged it in, and we actually used big picture mode, which is the version of Steam where basically it acts like your, your PC is a console. So it makes it easy. You can maneuver through all the menus. You can boot the games and everything without having to use a keyboard and mouse. So I did that, and we booted up Chrono Trigger, started to play it a little bit, and I've never played this version before, so I didn't know much about it. And it offered an updated graphics mode. And I'm like, all right, we'll try that. Immediately, I noticed the graphics looked terrible. It was like a crappy attempt to like smooth them out instead of being pixelized like they were in the original game. It looked awful. So I'm in the, the starting of the game. You wake up in a bedroom. Your mother wakes you up. You go to the window. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, there's an optional option to draw the, the shade. So I do it. The game freezes. And I was like, what? The game froze in the first two minutes of the game. And I was like, you know, here's the deal. This is why I'm not a PC gamer. Because I like consistency. I don't like, oh, it's time for the premiere of a game and the game crashes within the first five minutes. It's, it's ridiculous that you got to put up with that. So I was a little upset. Not going to lie. I was like, why the hell is it doing this? So we ended up rebooting the game. And this time disabling the smoothing of graphics. And it worked perfectly fine. And by the way, the game looks better without the smoothing of graphics. We had two hours, and this was great. This version of Chrono Trigger is improved. It actually has, like, energy bars on the screen now that weren't in the original game. Um, the graphics themselves are almost the same, but it's widescreen now. So it's basically SNES graphics, but widescreen for a TV, which looked really nice. The music seems to be identical. Um, I had a great time with it. We had a really good time. I was, you know, chilling with everyone, having a good conversation, enjoying the early hours of the game. It went really well, Okay. And, uh, again, support was decent, and then all of a sudden at the end, someone did a ginormous tip, which was really nice. And so thank you to that person, and thank you to everyone who supported my streams today. Now, before we get, <clears throat> excuse me, before we get to tomorrow's streams, I want to say something up front. I need you guys to do me a favor. Stop listening to baloney from my haters, all right? Today, I had concerned people coming to my stream saying things like, oh my God, is your cat okay? what is your cat okay because your haters are saying that you didn't pay for a blood test for him that he needed and that he's probably sick and dying and you're not treating him well and i'm like what jasper was literally here this morning on the podcast he's been here every day he's healthy as hell he has no pro health problems whatsoever right now zero he's perfectly healthy cat 
He's not even, he lost weight last year. He was a little overweight. He lost weight since last year uh, that we know from his recent checkup. What are people saying? I, people are saying the weirdest messed up things and people believe it. And then they come on the stream and they're like, oh my God, what's going on? This is bad. That is bad. I'm like, what are you talking about? Here's another example. You ready for this? This joystick. I talked about this a few days ago that I wanted to get a new joystick if I was going to play all games on PS5. And I said I could get the equivalent joystick to what I have now on Xbox or I could get essentially a high-end model. This joystick is meant to last. It's got the highest end parts. It's got heft to it. It's going to probably overall improve my game. So I said, you know what? If I'm going to get the joystick, I'm going to get this joystick. Now what I said to everyone was it would be great if you could buy in and help out by supporting my fighting game streams. Please show up and support them, and that'll help me pay off this stick, you know, because I, I'm going to drop a lot of money on it. I get people coming to my streams. I get people emailing me saying stuff like, How, what are you doing? Why are you buying that stick? You're in dire straits financially. Why are you, you know, if you're going to ask people to buy the joystick for you, you shouldn't be getting the better joystick. You need help. You're begging on stream for help. Then why on earth are you buying this joystick? When did that happen? When did I say, I want someone to buy me the joystick? That literally never happened. At all. I said, if anyone wants to help, because I'm going to upgrade my equipment, I'm going to do this investment in the business, please support the fighting game streams. That's literally what I said. And I said, hey, if anyone behind the scenes wants to contact me, that's up to you. That's literally what happened with this mini PC. I didn't ask for it. We were talking over the last year about a Steam Deck. Someone emailed me behind the scenes and said, hey, I'd like to donate a mini PC. They did, and now look, we're playing Chrono Trigger, right? That's how that came together. Did I sit here on stream and beg for a, 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 a PC? Did I sit here and do a marathon to raise funds for a joystick or a PC? This never happened. But again, people keep listening to the wrong people. You're listening to people who make shit up every day. Go back and watch the content that I actually put out. Not once did I say, guys, I'm in financial dire straits and I need an upgrade. Buy me a joystick. It never fucking happened stop being gullible stop listening to nonsense okay right now i'm not financially bad off I, I was in a point where i could invest and actually put this make this stuff but yeah it's expensive this joystick is, is expensive buying the game again on ps5 getting playstation plus so if you like the fact that i'm investing in fighting games because you like the fighting game content please support the fighting game content that's what i'm saying show up support the stream if you watch it on demand maybe do a super thanks maybe consider a tip that will help with all the money i just invested to earn it back essentially right that's what i'm saying I didn't say I needed someone to outright buy me something. I never said that at all. But this is what these idiots say. They lie. They'll say, oh, see, Phil's still in dire financial straits from three and a half years ago. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I never, have I done a marathon, emergency marathon to raise funds for anything? No, not for three years. Has, none of this is happening anymore. But these people are messed up. And I'm sad that people come to my streams and believe their bullshit. I really am. I don't want you guys being fooled by nonsense. If you want it from the mouth of the person who knows what he's talking about, come ask me. Come to me on my streams. Watch my content. Stop watching detractor content. They're making shit up. Having people come to my stream being afraid for my cat's health when he's perfectly healthy is messed up. It's really... I, I don't know what else to say. I can't make people stop listening to the slander that's there constantly. If you're on my streams, you never hear any of it. Because we don't talk about it. I don't, I don't tolerate that nonsense. It's all nonsense. They do it on purpose so they have content to put out every day to get clickbait views on stuff that's literal lies. There's no reason to entertain any of it, you know? Please don't. Please don't be afraid for anything, you know? Earlier this year, remember when I had some personal stuff going on? They were spreading rumors that it was health stuff, that I had cancer and stuff like that. I never said that. That's them making stuff up. I never said any of that. That's them literally lying to create drama. You know, it's messed up stuff. It's really messed up. Don't buy into it. Don't ever listen to a word those idiots say. Come to me. Ask me directly. If it's something I can be honest with you and up front, I will. Or if it's not, I'll tell you, hey, here's the deal, but here's as much as I can tell you. No, I didn't ask for anyone to buy this for me. I wasn't waiting for someone to upfront buy it. In fact, do you want to know the truth? Someone did reach out to me and said that they wanted to. I said, I already bought it. I was like, I already got it, dude. Thanks, if you want to support, come buy a fighting game stream and drop something, you know, to support it. I already got it. I, thanks for the offer. Don't need it. Literally, it's what I said to them. <laughs> so, don't listen to the nonsense, all right? Too many idiots around there. 
saying nonsense. And they think, that's the thing, they think things are absolute. Yeah, there was times four, three years ago when I was in the midst of a bankruptcy, things were awful. I needed that kind of help and I, I you know, I had to ask for it. I'm not doing that anymore. You haven't noticed, that's not what my streams are about anymore. My streams are about having fun and everything's been good. Why would I be freaking out? Why would I be begging people for stuff like that? I'm not. They're making it up and saying I am. It's hilarious that people believe that nonsense when it doesn't exist. So everyone, please enjoy tonight. Relax. Tomorrow will be a full day of Street Fighter VI. Not my intention, but here's the agenda. First stream, Blanco. Going into PS5, Street Fighter VI, trying out this new joystick. I guarantee you it's got to get broken in. New parts typically need to get broken in, joysticks in particular. You might have a little bit of issues where you get a little bit of mismalfunction. It's not working properly at first. Once you use it a little bit, it gets a little looser. Then you get better response. So I got to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to jump into ranked and get him into the ranked system. Uh, Ten placement matches. Hopefully I win most of them. Maybe I'll get right to Diamond, and then we go right back to the climb of Blanca going through Diamond up to Master again. I hope that works, and we'll see how it goes. You know, I know a lot with Blanca. He's my best character. Likely, I'm going to be beating most people, so I'm feeling pretty positive about that tomorrow, okay? That's the first stream. Please come support it. Since I invested in this, please support the effort, okay? Tomorrow night, it is community night. I'm going to make a community lobby online in Street Fighter VI. And people will join and we'll go from there. We'll do that. We'll have our community night like we usually do. Sorry it couldn't have been tonight like I wanted. It's tomorrow night and I hope you'll join me for that. And that should be fun as well. Variety of characters. Probably a lot of Honda I'll use that night. And we'll do that. All right. And that's it. I'm not here Wednesday. Thursday is going to be GTA 5 and Chrono Trigger. Friday will be another day of all Street Fighter. Although there's going to be an interruption during that. I'll explain more about that on my podcast. All right. But anyway. In general. Don't listen to nonsense. It's so it's just gonna make you worry about stuff that's not even true. I can't believe I had someone I have people coming to my streams like, what's going on with Jasper's ER? I'm like, he's perfectly fine. I have no idea where you're even coming from. People are obviously making stuff up. Alright? Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. See you for Street Fighter 6 all day tomorrow and my final streaming day of the week. Peace out. Good night, my friends.